All right, Shalom Israel, Mosan Christ Bless. Welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Josiah. To my right, Soldier Noam. So today's topic is going to be biblical times. Okay, what are biblical times? Um, the reason why we're touching on this topic is because there's a particular doctrine that, oh, the things in that Bible don't pertain to today and so forth. That was for thousands of years ago, back then, during those times. Okay, we're in these times now. So we want to delve into the Bible to see what the scriptures say. Okay, are we in biblical times? So let's begin with um, 1 Timothy 4 and verse 1. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4 and verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Mm -hmm. Now it says some shall depart from the faith. Right? Go ahead. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. So that means some people are going to be in the faith and then depart from it. And they're going to do what? Read again. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall, some shall depart from the faith. Some shall depart from the faith. Go ahead. Giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And doctrines of devils. They're going to give heed to doctrines of devils. Now all of a sudden, no, this stuff don't pertain to us. That was for thousands of years ago. We're African Americans. We're uh, Mexicans and so right. forth. Okay. That's what the Bible's saying. They're going to give heed to those spirits. Read them. We'll read it again. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter 4 and verse 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Come on. Speaking lies in hypocrisy, having, the con having their conscience, conscience seared with a hot iron. It says having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Okay, their minds are going to be seared up like an iron on clothing, an iron left on clothing. Okay. Give me um, Isaiah 46 and verse 10. Okay. Let's get into this. Okay. Biblical times. What are biblical times? Let's see what God says here. Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 46 and verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. Saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. You see that? Read it one more time. The book of Isaiah, chapter 46 and verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning. That's what God did through this word right here. He declared the end from the beginning. Okay, read on. And from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. Yep. Saying, my counsel shall stand mm -hmm. and I will do all my pleasure. So guess what? If he declared the end from the beginning in this Bible, you can read What's going to happen in the end times, meaning in these days in this Bible? OK, so guess what? We are in biblical times. Read it one more time for him. The book of Isaiah, chapter 46 and verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, mm -hmm. saying my counsel shall stand. God's counsel is going to stand, meaning what? This Bible, the things written in this Bible are going to stand. And we're going to read some of those things in a little bit. His counsel will stand. Go ahead. And I will do all my pleasure. His pleasure will be fulfilled, meaning the things written here is going to be fulfilled. They're going to happen. Okay, give me 2 Ezra uh, 14 and uh, 21. 2 Ezra chapter 14, verse 21. Okay, the Mosai says he declared the end from the beginning. Okay, let's see what Ezra said about the Bible. 2 Ezra 14, 21. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14 and verse 21. For the law is burnt, mm -hmm. therefore no man knoweth the things that are done of thee. So now he was talking about during the time of ancient Babylon, okay? They began to burn the Bible. And they said what? Read again. For the law is burnt. Is it, is it the law or thy law? For thy law is burnt. Yep. Thy law, meaning the scriptures, are burnt. They began to burn the Bibles. Read on. Therefore, no man knoweth the things that are done of thee. So now, that means no man knoweth the things in the past that happened. Go ahead. Or of the works that shall begin. Now, what is that talking about? The future. Okay. Because what? This Bible is a prophetic book. It talks about the things going to happen uh, past, present, and future. Okay. Read it one more time. The book of Second Edges, chapter 14 and verse 21. For thy law is burnt, mm -hmm. therefore no man knoweth the things that are done of thee, yep. or the works that shall begin. That's but, it. 
Verse 22. That's but, all I need on that. Give me uh, Sirach 14 and 20. Okay. So Ezra was saying, your law, what's written in this Bible, is past and future. Okay. No man knoweth the things that were done or the things that are going to come in the future. Okay. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 14 and verse 20. Blessed is the man that doth meditate good things in wisdom. So now it says, blessed is the man that does meditate in good things, right? Yes. Give me that good precept in Romans chapter 7 real quick. Okay, let's show them what good things are talking about. Show them what the good things are. Because they might think it's talking about the Gilgamesh epics or something like that. Right. Okay, the Egyptian book of the dead. Let's see. The book of Romans chapter 7 and verse 13. Seven, I think. Seven and seven, right? Seven and verse seven. Twelve? Yeah, yeah. Give me twelve. Thank you. Wherefore the law is holy, and the commandment holy. Wherefore the law is holy. Go ahead. And the commandment holy. And the commandment holy. And just and good. And what? And good. And good. So read it one more time so we can get the thought. The book of Romans chapter seven and verse twelve. Wherefore the law is holy, uh -huh. and the commandment holy. And just and good. Uh-huh. And good. So it's talking about the laws of God. This Bible is good. Go back to Sirach. So now we know what the good things are. Okay, we read that. Read that one more time. Sirach 14 and 20. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 14 and verse 20. Blessed is the man that doth meditate good things in wisdom. So it says, blessed is the man that doth meditate in good things. Meaning this Bible. We have to meditate in this Bible. Meaning study it. Study it and apply it. Read on. And that reasoneth of holy things by his understanding. You see that? That reasons by holy things. Okay, what's this mean? What's that mean? I got to find these precepts. I got to find that precept. Hey, what's this? What's that talking about? You meditate and reason within these scriptures. Read on. Verse 21. He that considereth his ways, he that considereth her ways. He that considereth her ways, meaning the Bible. Go ahead. In his heart shall also have understanding in her, her secrets. That's the part I wanted right there. Shall have understanding in her secrets. Okay, this Bible is a mystery. Okay, many people don't understand what it's talking about. Because why? They don't meditate in it. They don't apply the things written. So they don't understand the secrets. They don't understand that these are biblical times that we're living in right now. To this very day. In so-called May of 2021. Right? They don't understand. But... The Bible applies to this very day. Read it one more time, that last verse. Verse 21. He that <clears throat> considereth her ways in his heart shall also have understanding in her secrets. In her secrets. So now let's go to Isaiah 51 and verse 20. And let's see if this was only talking about thousands of years ago. Okay, Isaiah 51 and verse 20. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. So now it says, your sons have fainted. They do what? They lie at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. So now you ask yourself, what nation of people's sons lie at the heads of all the streets? They've lost, it says they fainted, meaning they lost, lost consciousness of who they are. And they lie at the heads of all the streets. Read the next part. As a wild bull in a net, they are full of so the... So now, as a wild bull in a net, meaning, so they ain't just laying down uh, sunbathing, no. They're like wild bulls in a net, uncontrollable people, all right? Whose people is that talking about? The Bible says, thy sons. Who's the thy? Give me um, Isaiah 52 and verse 1. Jump up to the next chapter, first verse. The book of Isaiah, chapter 52 and verse 1. Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Stop right there. O Zion. Now it's saying, awake, awake. Why is it saying awake? Because Zion's sons are asleep. They fainted. They lost consciousness. That's who it's talking about. Who is Zion? That's talking about Israel, the nation of Israel. Go back to Isaiah 52. Okay? So, yes, these are biblical times. This was written thousands of years ago, but read it again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 51 and verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets uh -huh. as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord. Meaning what? They are full of the curses of God. Okay. God's anger is put upon them for breaking his commandments. That's why they're in those conditions. That's what it's saying. Go ahead. The rebuke of thy God. And that's the proof. The rebuke of thy God. That's what the fury of the Lord is. The rebuke of God. Okay. 
Give me uh, Isaiah 42 and 22, I believe. The book of Isaiah, chapter 42 and verse 22. Yep. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Wait a minute, what? This is a people robbed and spoiled. Mm -hmm. They are all of them snared in holes. Yep. And they are hid in prison houses. Did you see that? It says they are hid in prison houses. Now, all of a sudden, that don't, that, that don't happen today? Right. We're not in biblical times? Right. Okay. Our people, the same sons that have fainted, they're in prison houses. Okay. This Bible is a real book. This is called the living word of God for a reason. Right. Okay. We're living this word. Read it one more time. Verse 22. This is a people robbed and spoiled. Mm -hmm. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are hid in prison houses. Is that it? They are for a prey, and none delivereth. You see that? Therefore, pray, and none delivereth. Okay? All the nations reap the benefits of our destruction. That's why they don't say deliver, because they're benefiting off our destruction. Okay? One more time for them. Verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. Uh -huh. They are for a prey, and none delivereth for a spoil, and none saith restore. None saith restore. Okay. Still looking for uh, 40, acre, 40 acres and a mule or whatever the case. Right. They're not going to say restore. No. Okay. That's what the Bible says. None saith restore. Okay. Only Christ is going to bring us back to our God-given state. That's it. That's what we got to look for. Last scripture, um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. Okay. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. So, yes, we are in biblical times. Okay. These prophecies that were written thousands of years ago, we live these today. Biblical times means what? The word of God is still upon us to this very day, and we live these words. Okay. No different than Deuteronomy 28. We live this Bible. Okay. This is biblical times. Ecclesiastes 1. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 9. Yep. The thing that had been it is that which shall be, uh -huh. and that which is done is that which shall be done. Mm -hmm. And there is no new thing under the sun. So read it again. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 9. Give the, me, give me, give me uh, Ecclesiastes 6 and 10. Jump over real quick. So we can find out what this thing is. Just real quick, and then we'll jump back. Ecclesiastes chapter 6 and verse 10. That which have been is named already. That which has been is named already. Go ahead. And it is known that it is man. It is man. It is man. Go back. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. So the it is talking about mankind. Watch this. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 9. The thing that hath been... It is that which shall be. So it, remember, it is man. The thing that have been, uh, it is that which shall be. Go ahead. And that which is done is that which shall be done. Uh -huh. And there is no new thing under the sun. There is no new man under the sun. Meaning what? The things that happened aforetime are going to happen again, over and over and over again. Okay, there's cycles of man on the earth, just like the suns, moon, and stars. Okay, those, those things have cycles. There's water cycles and so forth. We as human beings have cycles, okay? So the Bible pertains to this very day, and yes, we're in biblical times. So Lord willing, y'all got something out of lesson. With that, we say shalom. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.